The creation of Office documents has been simplified in C-Sharp 4.0 with the improved COM interop. In this lesson, I'll show you how to take advantage of these changes to create an Excel file from code. So before you begin coding against the COM interop for Excel, you need to reference the library for it. Go ahead and right click on References, Add Reference, and go into the COM tab. And if you go down to Microsoft, Excel 14.0 Object Library, and yours might differ. This is for Office 10. Go ahead and double click on that, and you will see over here under References that Microsoft Office Core was added and Microsoft Office Interop Excel was added. And then here you need to say using Microsoft Office Interop Excel. And then you can begin coding. So this is the Excel file that we're going to create in code. And in fact, I'll delete it here so that we can create it in our code here. And the first thing we need is a class that I created called Excel Manager. And this Excel Manager is going to be put right here. And we're going to call it from our code up here, and it will create our Excel file. So let's go through it just to get an idea of what it's doing. It's basically a wrapper around the functionality in C Sharp 4.0, which allows you to create Excel files. So we have the class Excel Manager, and it has a constructor. We pass the path and file name of the Excel file that we want to create, and the name of a sheet in Excel, there are a number of sheets, I think three when you start out, and this will be the name of the first sheet. It saves the path and file name internally in a private field here, and then it creates or instantiates the Excel app, so you have the application, and if anything went wrong, it'll say that it went wrong. This line here enables you to turn on the visibility of the Excel app, which will allow you to see it being created. That might be useful if you have a very long process and you want the user to see the parts being added and graphs being drawn or whatever you do. And then the next step is we take a workbook here and actually we're defining a workbook by adding a template to the workbooks collection, which is in the Excel application. This workbook has a worksheet, and that is actually the sheet that the cells are on. We're actually down to that level now. And this worksheet is what we're going to be working with. For instance, we give it the name here, so we're down to that level. And we're just getting the first worksheet out of the collection of worksheets, which is in the workbook. The workbook is an item in the collection of workbooks, which is in the application. And here we are back at our root element. And then if anything went wrong up to this point and the worksheet didn't get created, then we inform the user of that. But at this point, the worksheet will have been created. So we can say it has this name. And then we go one more level deep and say that inside the worksheet, the range that is being used is what we want. If you work in Excel, you use ranges when you select a number of fields. That's what we're talking about here basically the whole sheet, but we're just one level deep in a range inside the worksheet. So we haven't done anything yet. We've just set everything up so that the worksheet can be added to, which is what we do here. After we have our object created, our Excel manager object, then we can call fill cell on it, pass the row, the column, and the value. And we simply access this worksheet, which we created here and gave the name to, and say its cells row column now have this value. So after you set everything up, that's the difficult part, then calling it is very easy. So the code that uses this class is extremely simple. And it looks like this. We say Excel Manager EM equals new Excel Manager, and then we pass it a, let's call it report 111. We pass it the name, path and file name of an Excel file. And then we simply say em dot fill cell. Let's say one comma two 
January. And then we're going to call the save method, which is here. It simply saves the workbook to the path and file name, and we close it. So here, we'll say save, and that's it. So we're going to create report 111. I run it, it creates it, and it's finished. So if we go here, we see report 111, and we see that in, okay, right, that's correct. We have row one, column two, and that was, right, what we sent. So let's do some more columns. Let's make a little table here. So we have row one and two, three, and four columns, January, February, March across the top, and then down the left, Boston and New York, and then their values, row two and row three. So if we run this, it says that it exists. I say yes. And if we look at it, we see that we have a table of data that we created from our application. Now note in this lesson, we just put data into cells, but you have full access, full programmatic access to the Excel file. So you can create graphs, you can create algorithms, uh, new sheets. Here you see we only have one sheet called data, but you could create three sheets and have Basically, anything that you can do with the interface of Excel, you can do programmatically through the COM interop of C Sharp 4.0. So you could create nice graphics like this. In this lesson, you saw how easy it is to create Excel files from C Sharp 4.0 code.